minister that has no message there is one he's even being honored everywhere all because he has two hours every day to be speaking in tongue that he's leading prayers what god cannot do does not exist hey. so that is the message that is the message at this end and, and and thousands hundreds of thousands are following that and he said he has a message his message is a prayer there is no such message you are supposed to use that your prayer ministry is it and give them the message prayer 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 then they send offering to you you will soon stand aside watch and see hey living faith mountain of fire we must tell them the message we must tell them the message we must tell them the message. Prophet Sunday, when they come to you and line up there, tell them that yes, this is the cause of your problem. But have you given your life to Christ? If not, God will soon pack you aside. If not, Prophet Sunday, he will soon pack you aside. Hi, welcome to the Preacher's Portal. If you're new to this channel, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. This is just a perfect example of bitterness, hatred, and envy. And no matter the anointing of the speaker, you will know that this is coming from the flesh. This is not passing knowledge or speaking in love. This is bitterness. Let's listen to Bishop Edible we'll talk about situations like this. Why leaders and men of God get to this point. Let's listen to him. To be bothered about the change of soul of others means you are not interested in the change of soul. If you won't stop that, it will soon become hatred. From hatred to bitterness, and it troubles people. Envy is one of the works of the flesh that was dealt with at new birth. Get excited. Only those who wish others well do well. Don't wish calamity for someone going forward. You may not know you are planting a seed to your own destiny. Wish others were to be well with you. Wish others were. They are not the reason why you are down. No. Wish others were. Don't judge him. You are not a judge. You are in the race. You can't be in the race and still be a referee. Can you be a player on the football pitch and still be a referee? You now put something in your mouth. <laughs> they say, why is it foul? How do you? <laughs> Can you be the man say on your marks and then you are still running? On your marks? Go! How will you know those who are not going? <laughs> no, 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 no. Settle down. You'll never find me till I go to heaven, speak against a ministry on this earth. It's not part of my assignment. You can't be a player and a fan at the same time. Fans are for fun. Players are for prize. Amen. So, <laughs> I want the prize. I don't want the fun. They say, who are you? They say, I'm a fan. Eh? You're a fan. Nobody's playing you're a fan. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I command every seed of envy, hatred, and bitterness to lose his grip of every life. Yeah. I know the latest trend now is every morning people gather on social media to just be, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. Anybody that doesn't want you to succeed, let him die. Amen, amen, amen. Let me repeat. God has never punished anyone and he will never punish. That's why people can confidently say God punish you because they know he will not punish them. I remember when I was younger, every time I sin, I would tell God I'm sorry. The next time I do it, let thunder strike me. And thunder never struck me. God is merciful. If God were to be the way you imagine him to be, nobody will be alive today. David said, if you should count iniquities, who can stand? But there is forgiveness with you that you may be feared. That's not an angry person. <laughs> That's not an angry person. Like we always say here, the body of Christ is like the body part of the human, Christ being the head. The hand cannot tell the leg how to walk, or the knee tell the heart how to beat. Everybody plays their role for the proper functioning of the body, the collective functioning of the body. If the hands and the leg 
are in disagreement the body will not be able to move properly that is what happens focus on your assignment that is the truth when you come out and your assignment is to be the judge over other people's assignment you are just giving a part of the body there is no body no pastor on earth that has the totality of god the apostle Paul says that i may know him he after writing books that i may know him there is nobody that has seen god in his fullness in the totality that understands god to the totality of it so every man of god no matter how anointed they are they know in parts so if you think your part is enough to be the judge then you are myopic about this whole gospel thing that is just the truth here no matter how intelligent no matter how far gone that's why people that have experience people that have been in the ministry for a long time and have sustained result and reputation they come out to tell you that we don't have to speak other people and look at what bishop said you don't have to condemn other people you don't we will never speak against any ministry till jesus come because he knows his assignment and he focuses on his assignment that is the truth even if your brother or a minister or a fellow colleague is teaching heresy the best thing is to call the person to a corner and speak to them but when you pick up the microphone like many of them do like dr damina bromosis alu calling out the names of churches and all that now you are trying to present your own church as the perfect church which is totally wrong you have already missed it from the beginning you have already missed it because that's a lot of things i said here they were heretic that is just the truth so when you focus your attention on other people's assignment you miss your own assignment that is the assignment of the enemy the devil now if you listen to what dr damina said god punishes the wicked be sober be vigilant for your adversary the enemy is moving up and down day and night looking for who to devour that is the truth there is an adversary they stopped apostle paul he said a great and effectual door was opened unto me behold many are the adversaries there are adversaries in the journey of life so if you think you are not being attacked it's because you are a tool in the hand of the enemy you are a tool in the, de- the hand of the wicked one that is the truth if you are an agent of light causing destruction and damnation in the kingdom of darkness attacks will come to you and that is why there is need for you to also be vigilant and pray but however it is not a, it is not a type of christianity where you live fighting battles day and night that is the balance of course we are not after praying every day die 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 all your prayer points day and night in every church is die 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 no 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 no. and that is not how it is actually done in these churches that is the truth that's not how it is done but they have their core ministry the pastor jerry is it that we are talking about has a ministry he has a teaching ministry as well have we attended his services have you listened to his full services or you are after the nsppd that has now gone viral because he focused on the assignment wake people up in the morning let them join the prayer morning and command their day that is the truth and they have been getting results healing miracles diverse testimonies that are not recorded in your own church and you come out to speak as if you know it all this is the problem that the body of christ needs to address a lot of ministers just need to focus on the assignment preach the gospel and leave other people leave them alone focus on christ preach christ when you come focus on your assignment you are not a prophet why are you attacking the prophecy you are not a teacher why are you attacking the teachers you are not an apostle why are you attacking the apostles focus on your own assignment your given assignment and you will see the result on the last day the judge will come and test every man and judge every man according to their works this is the problem we have in the body of christ and it needs to be addressed no matter who you are you have no right to be the judge you are there is no pastor that has the assignment to judge other pastors there's no assignment such as that there is no assignment that you come out in the open when the devil is winning winning souls to the kingdom of darkness every day pastors are now attacking pastors you have well that's a misplacement of priorities souls are being lost to the kingdom of darkness every day and the devil is recruiting more now he has penetrated the church and is making envy and lack of love hatred and fleshly fleshly teachings come on board with the aid of social media to spread hatred and cause confusion in the hearts of babes and it shall not stand we we come against such an agenda in the name of jesus this is the preacher's border anytime we see videos that contradict or videos that want to cause chaos in the body of christ we are going to shine light towards it this is the preacher's border if you're new to this channel please hit the like button share and subscribe